Yeah. What's up, guys? It's Adam here. So here's the uh, the backyard. The bike didn't really have to be out here, but here it is. Uh, we are hosting my every two years uh, Magnum tasting this weekend. Tonight's a small group, just four people, bringing some stuff up, so I can hit my 5,000th beer rating. But uh, tent for two people or so that may get too drunk to drive. So I have a tent set up before them with um, the air mattresses and blankets are in there already. This is not the final version of the, uh, the patio. We did the front stones down. Uh, the back is just pebbles right now. We're gonna move these rocks that are behind there eventually. You see the rocks there. So right now, I'm just trying to get a fire started. So it's only, it's only 5.30, but um, everyone gets here at seven. So I wanted some good coals going before people arrive. Heather's garden is looking well. Yeah, it's just a nice day overall. Beautiful, beautiful day. I'm about done cover the grill and get that charcoal going in about an hour. But this uh, this tree was taken down in March, so the wood is still very wet. So it takes a lot of work to get a fire going here. It's it's starting to ash over, but um, it's going to take about an hour or so before I even get the fire going. And then I'll start feeding, and all these um, all these sticks will steam. They're still so wet. So we've started moving some of the the branches over to these uh, black trash bins to dry out the branches a bit more. It doesn't appear to be helping that much. They still they still steam like crazy. Look at that. All the condensation in there. Amazing. Yeah, it's just wet. Sure. Look at that. You're going to get mold for me now. So I guess this is not how you dry out wood. <laughs> Figured it was how you dry out wood. Maybe it's not. Let's leave it uncovered for a couple hours then. Yeah, the wood doesn't feel wet, but it's definitely bleeding. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so right now I'm just trying to get the fire going. It should be a great, great weekend. Um, yeah, tonight we get close to my 5,000th beer rating. Oh, let's put this into selfie mode. Oh, we get close to um, to 5,000 beer ratings on Rate Beer. I joined Rate Beer January of 2012. It's five years, 1,000 a year. Well, five and a half years, so not quite a thousand a year. It's pretty cool. I've gained a lot of weight since I started rating beer professionally. Um, the last four people tomorrow will be about ten total. I saw so Heather's birthday tonight, so we're going to do some celebration of that as well. Uh, the guy that lives, you can't really see him, but he's, he's back over there. He does a huge... Um, fireworks show the, the weekend after July 4th every year. Usually by then all the tourists have gone home and it's just the locals and everyone goes on their docks and he does a ton of fireworks. I mean it rivals some small towns as far as the, the caliber. Uh, and as for how I get the bike back here, I tried to actually, if I remember I'll insert a clip here, but um, I tried to get it, the bike up in that direction from the front of the house, fell miserably, so I ended up coming around. Uh, my neighbor's property over here and coming down this way. So don't, don't, don't think I did something amazing by getting the bike up here. It was not impressive at all. <laughs> Just getting on a little hill there. Uh, I'll have to have Heather film me go back up it. I'm doing that just so people can have parking. So I'm just trying to make as much parking as possible. So we'll have like 10 cars here tomorrow total. Um, so it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of parking. But yeah, it's waiting for this fire to start. It's, 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 it's making progress. Just got to... Maybe say a little bit more. Well, we finally have some coals going, so I'm trying to get a little bit more coals present. It's not smothered really, it's still pretty open, but it really needs to start burning uh, burning well because you can already hear it if quiet. It's just all steam. All this wood is wet. But um it's, it's coming around. If we get enough coals going, then we'll be able to at least keep it going all night, fairly, fairly bright. It's not gonna be roaring, but. Well, I fanned the flames a little bit. That certainly helped. It's gonna keep it going. I think once that uh, driftwood catches well, that'll help us a ton. Yeah, fucking Harleys. 
Yeah. Porter, come here. Oh, Porter. Hello. Hello. <laughs> His tail's going. <laughs> All right, we got our fire going. That driftwood really burns. Look at that thing burn. And then we have our charcoal starter, chimney starter going. And I also, I bought new knobs because we didn't have the knobs and I also bought a niter because the other niter wasn't working. So wired that up in there. You can hear it works the first time. Very nice. And we are uh, cooking some taters in here. Yeah, taters. They smell good. What'd you put on the taters? Salt, pepper, and olive oil. Porter. 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 Hey, what's up, dude? So, uh, I think I'm supposed to open this up, but we have our steak tips on. Heather, would you mind eating with them with again? Uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Olive oil and a bunch of spices. Oh, basil and basil and. And lots of other things. Okay, from the garden? No. Oh, not from the garden. Oh, focus, 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 focus. There we go. Yeah. Fire's not looking that good, but it's because we got a lot of wet wood on there. It's plenty of coals. Oh, and also, guys, you know that I'm from Florida, right? So we have our bug zapper up, which, by the way, it works. Bug, zap bug zappers work. Huh? I ran the bug zapper four hours yesterday. We killed a lot of bugs. There's, um, there's fireworks tonight over right there. So we're going to go on the dock later and check out some fireworks. Oh, taking my 18% alcohol Drake's head zoo down to the, uh, the lake because the uh, neighbor's getting his annual. Oh, you know, that's uh, Charlie, Charlie always freaks out. What's that? She said Charlie gets too freaked out. She'll take him down to the uh, boat ramp. Right. These are all the boats out in the lake. I'm watching the guy over here on the dock doing his fireworks. Hanging with death? Row, motherfucker. Row! for you guys. Oh, thank you, Heather. I know I have a bottle in my... It's oh, all right. Sorry. No, it's okay, Heather. I'm not... I'm not going to cry about an imperial cow that I have to be playing. This is last night's bottles. So it's lunchtime here. We're making sandwiches. Heather made some pasta. Got the grill going to uh, do some things. Bill. 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 Where's Bill? They're getting photos of the Magnus over there. Who the fuck bails on a I don't farm know. Like, that's mind boggling. It's hard to get guys together to drink good beer. Like we've done this for years.
I think Chris and I are just intolerable assholes and no one wants to come back. No, man. Is that I, what it is? Are we big dickheads? I, come, I, I feel like I come, I just don't have a car, so it's hard. We were very unhappy with our view of the lake. Oh, I'm doing some video. So our lake view was not looking too good, so my friends to work and we're chopping down more trees. Clark is working away at this one. So you see how we get, can't really see there? And uh, so we had these guys in the way. Yeah, boy, get it. Put your back into it, sucker. Get in there, get in there. Put your back into it. I hit it from multiple angles. I moved around it, that helped yeah. me. Sure. No, I'm close, I'm close, I'm close. She's coming down. That actually is bigger than the one that I took down. She's big. She's a big one. I think you have some homeowner in you, Clark. Harder than you think. <sighs> She's recording. Okay. I'm in flip flip the pockets too, so. Me too. Oh, you are. Me, it's the only way to do it. Alright, you're on you're on camera. I'm gonna turn it away, maybe. Yeah, you gotta you gotta like you gotta turn it back and forth. There's a good hole in there, there's a good hole. I could be like a little... Oh yeah, yeah, there, there you go, no, no, no. Push it. It's, it's, it lean, it's, it, yeah. It leans back that way, come on. How many drunk idiots does it take to cut down a tree? Well, well apparently, this is a thick ass. I don't want to fall on the neighbor's property, though. Yeah. I'll drag it off there. Well, you can pull it back out, it's not heavy. Here you go, we got it. No, you got it, we do have it. Get it, get her, get it, get it, boy. Get it. Get it, get it, yeah, get it. got it. We got it. Get it, get it, get it. Fuck that thing. Yeah. Fuck your couch. Fuck your couch. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Do it, Fuck your couch. Oh, I, the other one's like at a weird angle. Oh. I wouldn't even bother. There's a little. Yeah, no, that, that does it. That's but it. I'm gonna grab my Degard. Yeah, yeah, go nuts. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, picture it up, dog. What are you gonna do? Sorry, oh no, you're fine. There's a more more going on, right? That one. Oh yeah. Okay. <sighs> you know a treat? Oh. It's a good treat. Before it gets steak. Big. <clears throat> oh yeah. Well, it's better than throwing it out. He'll eat it. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm taking the uh, the compost out this morning. It's Sunday. Look, we have a family of ducks out there. You see them? I should zoom in a little bit. And the ducks. Let's like zoom slowly. Look at them out there. Ducks. Um, yeah, so we're uh, at Sunday. We just opened our first beer. It's a vault, vault beer. Imperial Stop, Urban Barrel, age two years old. Uh, this is some of the stuff we had last night in the house. And, uh,. Yeah, let's walk around to the compost area and then we'll return on a tree yesterday. You guys probably saw a video of that earlier in the vlog. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to myself for a second. It was a good weekend. We had a new guy show up. Um, he got he got really drunk, so you know, kind of dr drank himself out of the social equation. Got really sick. He left before we, we even woke up after puking everywhere. Um, else. Well, it was fun. We got through a lot of bottles. It was supposed to be a tasting of 12 people. It ended up being a tasting of 5 people plus 2 non-beer geeks. Um, so we ended up kind of not not doing the whole tamale as I had hoped. But the good news is we only opened 7 of my 20 uh, large format bottles. So instead of, you know, these bottles are 40 to $200 a pop. We got through 7 of them uh, of the higher end ones. So it's actually a good thing that we didn't get through all of them because just more money, basically. Um, so the, what you're looking at here is kind of the the soldiers from Friday and Saturday night, plus whatever you guys just saw on the uh, the steps over there. I'm just gonna cover the grill, put some things away, and then uh, Heather and I are gonna go on a trip to Maine for a couple of days. After we start some dishes and clean up a bit, uh, we'll head out in a few hours. So I guess this is the... I guess this is the end of the vlog for this, for this one. Um, I feel fine, but 
I'm tired, I guess. But other than that, yeah, things are good. Life is good. Things are good. It was a fun time. I'll clean these bottles up, like, Wednesday or something. Yeah. So, thanks for watching my uh, night I'm tasting for this year. Nice to have you. And maybe I'll put some pictures after this as a sort of just a, hey, pictures. Nicer pictures than uh, the ones this camera picks up. Well, uh, goodbye from the lake. Everyone have a wonderful week. Okay. Here is the remaining of the bottles that we finished on Sunday. I'll give you guys a tour. So these are the the magnums that we did. If you're familiar with any of these, then let me know in the comments. A lot of bottles for just a few of us here. And now, they're about to go in the recycling. Hedzo was a definite standout for me. Yeah, great bottle lineup. And now before we go, the beer tasting is over, but I am back to grilling. Oh, look at that. Nom, 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 nom. Some bacon in there for uh, salads tomorrow. I made the healthiest salads. Hey, Porter. Easy marrow bone.